Hi guys from Barbara and welcome to my ketogenic channel. Today we will go for a trip. Yes, I want to travel so much that I decided to prepare a dish from Argentina. As you know, in that country they have amazing meat and they also have an amazing sauce that you can serve with your meat. This sauce is called chimichurri and it's delicious it will make your dish more ketogenic because it will add a lot of fat and more delicious so let's go together to prepare it the ingredients that you will need to prepare a basic chimichurri the classic one are fresh parsley garlic i have my solo garlic one clove garlic but if you have normal garlic two cloves then red hot chili peppers dry oregano salt pepper extra virgin olive oil and vinegar first step of this South American recipe is to rehydrate the dried oregano. You can use a good amount of the spice because it gives an amazing flavor, but also a good amount of olive oil because extra virgin olive oil is the most ketogenic ingredient. It's 100% fat. the oregano is absorbing the oil we can cut the parsley i highly recommend you to do it by hand with a good knife cut it as small as possible but doing by hand and not with a food processor will allow you to have a real chimichurri using fresh aromatic herbs is a great tip to prepare amazing ketogenic food you can use as many herbs as you want, but for this sauce, parsley is the main ingredient. So just cut a lot of it and have fun. In Italian cuisine, we always put parsley together with garlic, and there is a very ancient reason for that. I didn't know it, I discovered it quite recently, but garlic goes very well with parsley because parsley will help you to digest the garlic. It's also a great combo for the flavor. Now it's time to chop our garlic. As I told you, I have this very strange one clove only garlic that I only found here in Sweden. Let me know if you have it in your country, but I've never seen it before. And I will put just it because it's a big clove. But if you have a medium garlic, two cloves will be good. And you can chop it as little as you like and you can put as much as you like. It's a free ingredient that you can also don't put if you don't like garlic, of course. As you can easily understand, I love it. And in my family, we all like it. So my garlic, it's a big part of this chimichurri. But now we need also an extra touch, some spice and red hot chili pepper would be perfect. This mix is really beautiful. It smells amazing and it reminds me of Italian flags. I really like it. What do you think about it? Do you think the presentation is important too? I really think so, because if things look better, they also taste a little better and we are happier and that's the most important thing. After mixing all the dry ingredients, it's time to add the fat. 
the liquid, the dry oregano full of extra virgin olive oil. This will give a lot of flavor and will transform this mix into a real sauce. But it's also time to enhance all the flavor and we will do it adding some vinegar. It makes a big difference. So if you like it, don't forget this ingredient. And then, of course, some salt and some black pepper. Last but not least, more extra virgin olive oil until you will reach the consistency, the thickness that you want for your sauce. I like like this and it will be amazing with our steaks. We don't have a barbecue, unfortunately. I live in a small apartment, so I will use just a pen. A pen without anything, just a warm pen. but I already marinated the meat in some olive oil, salt and my favorite spices. And this will be an amazing lunch, as you can clearly see. But do you know what will be amazing too? Our walk, the end of this video, that will be a walk in the flowers, like last week Sakura. Do you remember the pink flowers? Today we will go in the park and I will show you more flowers, more happy kids and more sun. Don't miss the walk because it's truly beautiful, at least if you like flowers. I can promise you that this lunch is amazing. Let me know if you try this sauce. Chimichurri is great. I really hope you like today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. So we will meet here every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time with another ketogenic video in English, but also on Wednesday, well, <laughs> but also on Wednesday with the same video in Spanish and on Friday in Italian. Thank you all and see you soon.